Welcome to Miss Time Coach Nikita, and this is lesson number 11. Let's talk concentration, the different degrees of concentration. All right, let's say I asked you to walk down this alley. How much concentration did you use to walk down this alley? It'd probably be zero. Let's say you, I asked you to walk down this doubles line. Uh, how much concentration did you use now? Well, one or two. Okay, fantastic. Now, let's raise it up a little bit. Okay, off the ground. Uh, three or four. Okay, uh, how can we make this even harder? Uh, let's put a ball on top of your racket and let's have you walk on that raised platform. Okay, now we're talking five and six. <laughs> if you want more, two balls or maybe two rackets or maybe blindfolded, I don't know. But the level of concentration can be increased gradually but surely and understanding where you are on that level from zero to 10. And guess what? When athletes work out or practice tennis, we want them at that high level of concentration. Now, all the way to 10, we're probably never gonna get there, but if we are, that's great for maybe a short period of time. What we do need is maybe somewhere around seven or eight, all the time on the court. Obviously, when they come off the court, that's no problem. Your concentration goes to zero, you wanna relax your body, but then when you come back out, get ready in that ready position, okay, you ride back in there, okay? And that's the challenge, okay? Next, how do you know your athlete is in that state? Because I, I can't tell, and if you can't tell, if you can't tell, you can't really exactly tell. I mean, I, I don't have x-ray vision. I can't see the, the uh, different muscles or the brain patterns, how well their body's warmed up. I don't know their heart rate, uh, what's the beats per minute. So uh, it, it, it's really, it's subjective, is it? Uh, well, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, try, let's try and figure it out how we can do that. Get one of the exercises to do that I did on my lessons uh, on my, one of my YouTube channels before uh, uh, classes before uh, put a ball on top of the racket have your athlete catch a ball you know catch a ball you can quickly tell that you know they're in this position where their head is hardly moving up and down they're really nice and stable and they're trying to get that ball eventually they'll be able to do that in the beginning it will be a mess the concentration will still might be zero they still might just use their arms they're not using their core they're not using their legs. They're not on the balls of their feet like, like a cat. You know, they're not looking at the ball like a hawk. So it's really important that we get that base. We get the base. We know where the base is. Because once you set the base, once you set the base for the child's concentration, then you can tell them, listen, your concentration is off. And I know this because we know, we both know that your concentration is it should be is that here and we tested this out I know where it's supposed to be right now it's here so guess what you have to step up okay you have to step up or otherwise we're obviously just gonna leave okay in fact I personally think that sometimes parents should just take their kid and leave the class okay because as a parent you should know that your athlete your athletes is uh, is is concentrating or fooling around I mean seriously what's it's actually a waste of time for the athlete to be there it's actually jeopardizing the improvement of other athletes as well and we don't want that either so parents please if you see your athlete is messing around it's, it's okay to just grab your kid and leave you know tell him hey listen you're not ready right now and I understand why that is so we're gonna work on this we you and I are going to spend some time understanding what concentration is what practice is for and what respect for your teammates uh, pl other players uh, coaches and parents and, and the whole the community is and then you can come back does that make sense okay that's the type of concentration and respect we want um, on the court or I would want on the court for my athletes okay so check it out you know uh, test test the concentration of your athletes and you know see if you can uh, quickly spot who is focused and who is fooling around fantastic i'll see you guys next time bye bye